Hi, I'm Stefan. I'm the founder of FreeBusy and I'd like to give you a tour of our app for the Amazon Echo and show you how it can save you time and help you be more productive. In Amazon Parlance, FreeBusy is adding new skills to the Echo device, so you'll find it under the Skills section in your Echo smartphone app. Before I dig in, let me switch for a moment to the uh, FreeBusy homepage and give you a bit of background on what the service does. If you have a digital calendar, you probably use apps like Outlook or Google Calendar, Fantastical or iCal to manage your daily schedule on your smartphone, on the desktop or from the web. Those apps are good at helping you manage your appointments and seeing your daily agenda at a glance. But unfortunately, they're not so good when it comes to coordinating group meetings at work, family gatherings, or whether you and your band buddies are available for a gig on a particular weekend. FreeBusy is not a calendar, but rather it's a scheduling service which knows how to connect to all existing calendar systems and aggregate availability to make group scheduling easy. It understands that your time commitments may be spread across multiple calendars like work, school, and Facebook events, and can link together all those time sources into a single unified availability view. Let me exemplify with my own calendar, which you can quickly get to from the example on the homepage, although you could put anybody's email address to check their availability, if they're using the service, of course. And what you see happening is FreeBusy is going out in real time and grabbing my availability from the variety of calendars that I have connected. So, so let me sign in with my calendar and I'm going to use here the uh, work email address um, that I have associated with that calendar. Upon signing in, I'm greeted with an Alexa conversational guide because FreeBusy knows I have an Alexa device connected. I will come back to this in a moment. First, let me take you here to the um, account and integrations page, which shows that I have my work calendar connected, which is hosted on Office 365. I then have linked to it a personal account hosted on Gmail. I then have linked another personal account, which is my iPhone um, account, where I also have a calendar from Apple. I then have a similar personal account, again, hosted on Office 365. All of these calendars are linked together, uh, together with my Amazon account and the Alexa device. So FreeBusy is able to aggregate all these identities and all these calendars to make uh, these calendars accessible from uh, the web and from the Echo device. Now, the view that you saw a moment ago, um, its configuration comes from these share availability preferences where I get to decide uh, which days of the week and which time slots I'd like to share out. And of course, I don't have to make them public for the entire world. Uh, I have an option to just share them with my contacts, uh, to share them with people who know me by my email address, or to set a uh, uh, password of my own uh, and only have people who know that password be able to see my availability. So that being said, let me go back to the Alexa conversational guide. Alexa, hi. Hi. Alexa, ask FreeBusy to get my schedule for today. You have two appointments today. Your first appointment is at 12 p.m., titled Catch Up. Location is Frog Hollow Farm Market and Cafe, Embarcadero. It might be helpful at this point to switch back to my schedule and show you some context here so um, you understand why Alexa said what she said. Um, so today, as I'm recording this, is Friday, June the 26th, and it's referring to these two appointments, um, and it just read back to me the details 
of the noon appointment uh, and the lunch that I have there. Um, of course, in the public view, when you share your availability, these details aren't available, but when Alexa talks to you um, uh, directly, then uh, she has access to the details of your events. So let me show you the following example now. Alexa, ask FreeBusy to create a phone call for today at 2 p.m. Okay, how long do you want the event to be? 15 minutes. Okay, what's the topic for this event? Call Covered California to talk about insurance. Done. I created your appointment for 2 p.m. on June 26th, titled Call of Covered California to talk about insurance. So there you go. That event is now created. And if we refresh this page, you see here we have a new event on Friday um, at 2 p.m. That sliver, that gray sliver for 15 minutes is the event that I just created with the help of Alexa. And just so you can see that this does actually work, let me say, Alexa, ask FreeBusy to get my agenda for today. You have three appointments today. Your first appointment is at 12 p.m., titled Catch Up. Location is Frog Hollow Farm Market and Cafe, Embarcadero. So you see the response was that I have three appointments for today, Friday, rather than two appointments, which is what I had prior to creating this one. Now, of course, when I created this um, appointment, I had the benefit of being in front of my calendar and I knew when I was free, but let's say I was somewhere in the house and I was not in front of my computer and, and I wanted to say something like, Alexa, open free busy and create an appointment for today okay at what time should the event start at 12 30 p.m okay how long do you want the event to be 15 minutes okay but you have a conflicting event at 12 p.m titled catch up do you still want to schedule another event at that time no. Okay, I won't create any appointment. So you saw how um, Alexa did check my schedule ahead of time and advised me that I was busy at, uh, at the time and gave me a choice whether I still wanted to continue or not. Now, all of this is fine, but I did say at the beginning that the main reason for FreeBusy's existence is to help you coordinate schedules with others. And so let me show you how you work uh, with your contacts in order to figure out, um, you know, whether they're free or busy. Uh, let me start by saying that you can query any information about the people in your contacts. Like, for example, Alexa, open free busy and get the phone number for Jeremy. Okay. Did you mean Jeremy Foster, Jeremy Fake, Jeremy Jones? Jeremy Rackley? Jeremy Jones. Okay, which phone number would you like for Jeremy J? You can say home or mobile. Home. Jeremy Jones's home number is 1-425-643-9828. So, you know, that's fine. Um, but let's ask whether Jeremy is free today perhaps to join me on my call. Alexa, open free busy and check if Jeremy is free today at 2 p.m. Okay, did you mean Jeremy Foster? Jeremy Jones. Jeremy J is not yet using free busy. Send an invite from freebusy.io. So you saw two things here. One is that I can interrupt Alexa at any point to kind of shortcut the conversation and uh, say exactly what I want. Two is that when you need to check availability for someone, that person also needs to be using FreeBusy. So you can invite them 
or uh, in this case I know that my wife Felicia is already using FreeBusy so let me ask about her schedule Alexa open FreeBusy and check if Felicia is free today at 2 p.m. Felicia Nietzsche was available at 2 p.m. today so great at this point I could ask Alexa to invite her to my meeting as well so this is a quick overview um, of what FreeBusy for Alexa can do for you. Um, in the conversational guide here, you can see all the various phrases that you could use to ask about availability, to create events. Um, and we're continuing to expand, of course, all of these abilities and uh, do use it and give us some feedback. Hope your meetings are productive and enjoyable.